Okay, hello. This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create and run your own company in Market Glory. What you're going to do first is go to My Companies, click on Make New Company. Down here you have a list of all the companies you can create. You're going to want to create a company that people in your country haven't created or there isn't many of if you do have all these others. That way you're not competing with people or if you are competing, with, compete with the least amount of people possible. Now, after you create your company you're going to have to name it and you can choose a little picture or just go with the standard picture. After creating your company though, go to the My Companies page, go to my grape one, just click on manage. The next step is to invest. I have $23.93. I would have to convert that into gold once I have enough to create gold bars. You invest right here, put in the amount you want to invest, and then hit invest, and it would tell you how many gold you have in your company. Right now I have 0.18. You can see that there, and right down here. After that, you have to sell those gold bars by putting the amount you invested, or however many you want to sell right there, and hitting sell gold. This allows people to work for your company. You have to have your country's currency available otherwise when people try to work for your company it won't work because you're not paying people but after that you go to workplaces every company starts off with one workplace you have to start off at least with the dollar wage you can go higher but you can't go any lower so to start off with the dollar click save and then you can go to the work page Oh, and mine's the only one available right now because everybody else worked for all the companies. After somebody works for your company, it takes a little bit over eight hours for your job to show up again. Let's go back. And also, you'll have your work register. This tells you who works for your company, what their productivity is, how much you paid them, and how much your company paid in taxes. So my company paid two dollars and thirteen cents. So you're going to want to sell your items for more than that so you can sustain your company. You're not going to want to invest more money into your company. You're going to want your company to be able to sustain itself. So your company is going to have to try and raise enough money to afford paying everybody while at the same time making enough euros to renew its contract and pay people again. So companies license last three months and if you go to the license page it tells you when it expires. So to renew your company license it takes five euros. So by the time mine expires I want to have enough money in my company to pay the five euros and hopefully have a surplus of money to pay other people for working that way I don't have to invest more money. Now on your inventory page you have how much you have. Okay, I um, have just over four right now. The production price it says is 1.7 because depending on how much you're paying and the prices and everything it fluctuates and evens out. Okay, and we have over here this at the top US dollars. Six dollars is what I'm selling it for right now and if you put it in gold this sells on the global market and if you put it in your country's currency it sells it on the local market if you sell it on the local market your company does not get taxed for selling its items if you sell it on the global market your company gets taxed and whatever the tax rate is it goes to your country's funds but you can also see the production and sales. So when you're working for your company you see the date and the time that the person worked and how much was created for your company. Also under upgrade you have upgrades here. This will upgrade your company so when somebody works for your company it'll produce more for your company. Um, these are the permanent upgrades. I suggest permanent upgrades over the 30 day upgrades that way you're not having to constantly upgrade with a buy upgrade for permanent you're upgrading once and you're never having to do it again and you have the 30-day upgrades right here 
but if you do this then after 30 days it runs out so I think it's kinda pointless unless you don't have enough money to do a permanent upgrade under settings also you have your company name your description and if you want to change your company logo you can look for any picture on your computer and upgrade there but that's the video tutorial on how to create and run your own company if you have any questions just leave a post on the forum or reply to this video.